And we are we live. Are live. I'd like to welcome everybody to episode seven to episode of Road seven. to Memphis. Memphis. Before we get started, get I would started. like to remind everybody remind. that we are sponsored by You're Big sponsored. Bully Gaming out of California. California. Visit them at Visit. bigbullygaming.com for all your action com tokens. For all your action. You can also check me can out also at patreon.com forward com. slash snaggles gaming where you get all sorts of perks all for supporting the channel supporting. such as custom such dice from stand up from stand custom up. hero clicks trays from jeremiah peterson as well as a bunch of as other well sweet giveaways of others. Now, today, now today i have i a have texas legend on the channel legend on the channel mr dustin Sears. mr dustin Sears. Welcome, welcome to the show welcome to the show hey thanks for having me anytime buddy Any, buddy so so how's your uh practice going for worlds going for world it's been going pretty well uh it's one where i think we kind of have a good idea a lot of the teams that I see if not the specific teams at least you know the yeah it's uh yeah, it's uh a little less wide little open i would say than it was six months ago six Kovic Trader has been dominating lately. Dominating. Um, Ever since now. Uh, yeah, very true. Yeah, very true. I was expecting them to die off a little and the meta to adapt before meta Worlds, but I really don't worlds, see it. But I see it. I mean, I think you're seeing a few things. I think you're seeing more Mangog being played than there was around there. I think it hurts these cosmic swarm team. <clears throat> you have to be careful, you know, using the trading Kobix gem and dealing the one penetrating damage. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Leaving a call in on the board. Now, um, do you think that? Think, uh, uh, Kovic's the sole reason for the, the resurgence of the Rangog, so or is there another reason behind that? Well, I think it's a couple of things. I think that it's also the uh, the disappearance of the one-man army, and I think Kovic had a lot to do with that. I think Kovic is sort of indirect losing Earth, because now you're seeing a lot of Swarm team. You know, the best counter for a Swarm team is Manga. That's true. Um, you're cutting out uh, a little bit all of a sudden, bud. A bit all of a sudden. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Is this better? That is. That is. Okay, yeah. My voice was trailing off. I was getting quiet. <laughs> you did warn me about that. You did so warn that's me about fair. that. So that... Um, sorry, everyone. Sorry. There's a slight echo this There's episode. There's a slight echo this episode. Dustin's headphones broke, headphones, but it is worth it to it have him on the channel. To have him on the channel. My apologies. Um, so... Still, we actually had quite a few viewer questions a few. for you. You're a popular guy. You're, you're a popular guy. But uh, before we get uh, into those, get... you won the last won. round of WKOs. Yes, I did win one. So we, when BZ was on, he BZ. told us about how you beat him in top you four. Beat him in... But do you want to break down you want... uh, the rest of your top eight matches your... for us? Let us know what you saw. What you saw. Sure. Uh, first round, I played. I think my first round matchup was again. Thanos, Ultra Chase, Thanos, Vulture, Oz, Everett, Ross, um, Groot, Flora. I feel like maybe I'm missing a perplex in there somewhere. But it was the Ultra Chase Vulture team. Uh, I won maps, so I put him on the uh, tomb where he had a lot of trouble TKing his Doc Ock arms Vulture and then TKing Vulture away from the starting area. That map just gave him all kinds of problems and I uh, was able to hit Vulture early before he could get equipped and knock him off charge power and after that I kind of just picked apart the rest of the team and sort of left Thanos alone and ran around the, the tomb 
he uh, did manage to uh, push Ultra Chase Thanos to support and heal Vulture back top click one turn, which totally missed Ultra Chase Thanos having support. And he got his Vulture to go off, but he, I hit the Super Sense roll with Unseen that ended his chain and actually got kind of lucky. But uh, then I played BZ, and you heard and it was kind of one of those whoever got the last turn kind of match. And then in the finals, I played against a double astronomer team, and it was just a, it was a slug out. I mean, he, um, he took out Unseen early. He just went for it and took a shot with one of the astronomers on unseen so that took away my ability to call in i didn't have any at that time you know this was poor genesis so there were no low point call-ins for the trader gardener to get in so i just went over there and started duking it out gardener and these astronomers and walking woods and somehow i managed to to get him right at the end just through sheer will and determination Oh. But that was one of my good buddies, oh. Matt Demand, and it was a great team. I'd played him earlier, and, and he won map roll. He beat me the first time, and the second time I was able to come back and get him. That's uh, the mark of a good player, though, is being able to adapt when seeing the same opponent the second opponent. time. That's a pretty tough field to work your way oh, through. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yeah. It, thank you. Uh, it's always tough down here in Texas. There are a lot of great players. Yeah, you guys do have yeah, a really mean field all really the time. Mean field. I've always mused about what a, uh, a Texas uh, versus Texas. Uh, like Kentucky area matchup Kentucky would area look like. Matchup would look. Well, that would be a lot of fun. Because that has to be two of the toughest to clicks two. areas in the U.S. for sure. Yes, for sure. Kentucky, you got like. I think I think Paris, BZ, and I could go up against a lot of three-man teams. That would be a lot of fun. I'd, I would pay I'd to see that match up. See like, you, Paris, BZ you versus, Paris. like, Dan Powell, Dan Powell PJ, PJ, and, PJ, and any other great player from, other, their area. Like, from their area. Like, it'd be like, so fun to watch. It'd be so fun to watch. It'd be a blast. So, so speaking of some of the Texas guys... Some, guys Michael Love wants it to be known that you're his you idol. Know. Mike is kind of my idol, too. I, I always tell people that we're both each other's mentors. I think mine and Micah's event, our first event that we ever played was the same event, and it was Superman Wonder Woman pre-release. We started at the same time and started playing competitive at the same time, and we've always been practice buddies and kind of we helped each other get good. So you haven't been playing so that long, then? A long uh, no, Superman Wonder Woman was my first uh, official event wow. pre-release. Talk about a uh, meteoric the, uh, rise to meteoric success. To success. Now, um, Caleb Reddick. Caleb Reddick. He has a question for he you. For you. Yes. Top five characters going I'm into care worlds. Going into worlds. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I th think just with what I expect to see in the field, I think number one is gonna be Mangog. Um, he just is gonna have the ability to impact a lot of games. It's gonna, you have to take care of Mangog before you can do much. Or Titora, sometimes not easy, especially with Kobik giving your guys mystics and stuff. Yeah. But then I think number yeah. two, my number two would be Trader. Just because Trader is on so many teams right now. He's such a utility piece, and there's so many cool things you can do with him. And then I think number three is probably Unseen. And I think that's a lot. A lot of that reason is because of the number one, which is Mangog. He kind of helps. I mean, Mangog working with a base eight attack is not nearly as, as nice. And he's just, he works so well with the traders. I mean, trading Unseen a Space Gem to phase carry. Just the outwit, outwit's always great. Having sidestep, I mean, there, you can't understate how important having you guys the sidestep is when you're trading around Space Gem. 
And uh, number four, I think, is Kobik. Um, because everyone is playing Kobik. People love to play. It's an easy piece to play and do well with. Kobik's kind of the new Unimind. Yeah. And then uh, number five... Um, I don't know. I don't know who my number five... Maybe... Um, maybe... Objects? The, the gems? Ah, I feel uh, like I feel like the, these the, the objects from last made a, a huge impact. Space gem is amazing. It lets me do something that I've been trying to make work for a long time, and that the chain gun sidesteps map with underworld TA. It's just it's so great. That uh, that's a pretty good answer. I'm not gonna lie. Now, part two to his question. Part two to his question. Top three ID characters going into worlds. Ooh. Um, good one. I know he's hitting you with the hard questions. questions. It's, it's, we get, we get, we've get gotten new ones. That's what's, I think Beast is great because he's a 40-point Colin that's a punch. And I mean, he's sort of a utility piece. You can get a Fury or you can get an Outwit. I think Beast is pretty good. I don't know if he's top three though uh, I think number one has to be Cyclops just because he shoots through walls he's got side blast and precision he gets himself off the board there's two different ID cards so you can have two you have two great versions with the chase with the RCE and knockback um, Jean is still Jean you know it's two attacks potentially she can double tap something it's an outwit it's a side blast she can also get herself the board great um and then i'm i'm always partial to rusty uh rusty's not actually on this team but i i love rusty uh you get a poison an energy explosion a barrier a psi blast he, i love rusty there's so many options there for a three points to add to your sideline he's seen a little comeback lately too a lot of people are sidelining rusty for the barrier it, it, it helps you to advance against Astronomer or Kobik on a bad map. Um, I can see why. Uh, it helps a lot right now. Pre-Nationals, a, Pre a lot of people were using it to stifle Hawkeye. Yep, yep. Having a barrier without having to main force a barrier is always good. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Buy yourself a turn to advance. Maybe hide or get away or... And when it comes to talking about barrier tech, I rank your opinion on it pretty high. Thank you. Yeah, I do love playing. It's a lot of fun to play. It's like, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a, it's a chess game. It's you have to be very aware of actions and you have to think turns ahead and action management is so huge and one little mistake means you just lose. It's a, it's a fun team that's has very little room for. I think a lot of people see lot barrier as like the easy way out, easy. but I see it more as I like see. a uh, like very high a skill very high team skill to play. Team. It, it definitely depends on the team that you're. Most of the barrier teams I've played were very brittle. If someone could get through the barrier, I mean, I go down, and it's really you know, I'm relying on two layers of walls every turn to. Keep yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, but I think now you, so, with, uh, with the gem, with the uh, sorry, with the ring, you you can actually put it on guys who have a little bit more ability, so they're it's a little more forgiving. Yeah, I think that there are definitely some great barrier teams to be. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see it pop up a lot at. I'm really surprised you're not playing some form I'm of barrier tech form. with worlds after that ring came out. If you had asked me when asked that ring was previewed, ring I would have put money on it. Put money on it. I've been thinking about it. I've also been thinking about barrier count and stuff. <laughs> so I just I, so, right now I'm really loving Gardner. Gardner is so much fun to play. Yes. Yes. Beezy handed, handed me my handed butt. Me my 
the episode he was on so he was dual gardener uh starro a uh, star yeah, he knows how to play that team really well when i played him i won map and i think that, that was maybe the only reason that i was able to pull out a win because he did play that team I uh, practiced I, with them like two days before we streamed, before and I played X Men. X Men. And like and turn two or three, he wiped me out. Three, it was traumatic. Me out. Traumatic. Oh, wow. With that floating around in the meta, I don't think I would uh, play X Men until at least after Worlds. Worlds. Yeah. Yeah, the double gardener is pretty scary. Yeah. Especially in Star. Yeah. And Star has always been kind of scary for X Men. Yeah, it's like yeah. a double like double a silver double, bullet because you have bullet. Um, Starro mind controlling Starro you, mind con making you hit you, each other, can you hit each and then he can throw them onto the on. gardener squares for free attacks. Yeah, it's 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 really a great great. And he took me to the and train yard just good. for good measure. So he can also run over you with a train. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like free attacks free with some more mind control attacks, mind and con hey, let's let's and run hey, you over with the train too. Run train. Yeah, and I think that map bonus, if he loses, uh, your team gets minus one to their defense if they're targeted by mind control. That is exactly which is yeah, just is great exactly. for Starro. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty, nasty. Nasty. So Darian Schemmel, I hope Schemmel? I said his name right. I, I apologize name right. if I didn't. That is correct. I apologize if I didn't. Is he another Texas he guy? Another te he is. Yeah, he's local. He he's one of the clicksmen. Oh, okay. He wants to know what your favorite casual piece favorite of all time is. Piece of oh, uh, it's definitely Midnighter from the Flash set. Um, he's one of the uh, Authority. And uh, the Authority is my favorite name theme team to play. Wow. I, I love the comics. Wow. Random. And uh, Midnighter Random. is just ruthless. He is such a great piece to play. A lot of people underestimate him, and he's just oh, he's one of my is is hands down my favorite piece to play. So for people that didn't for play people, that far back, what does he do? Give us a brief you, overview. Us, brief overview. He does so many things. So he has a trait that says like I've fought this fight a thousand times in my head already, and it's when an opposing character would use uh, CCE, uh, they can only uh, modify a combat value by plus one instead of two. Um, he uh, he has, whenever he targets an opposing character with a close attack, he ignores all modifiers to their defense and reduces their defense by one um, until the next turn. And he has flurry, I think pretty much his whole dot. When he flurries, he gives you minus two to your defense until the next turn. And um, he has Outwit, and um, when he uses Outwit, he has Plasticity and can't be ignored for movement purposes. So you can't phase away from him, uh, you can't leap climb, even Colossals can't ignore him to move away. Um, he has Stealth and Reflexes, Toughness, Exploit, Precision, he's just... Oh wow. He's, oh. yeah, he's, he's like, he's got a 100 point starting line and a 125 point starting line. And, He's just an amazing figure. like martial artist, close combat teams. I think he's got martial keyword. That's actually pretty impressive. That's actually pretty impressive. It's a great figure. Uh, well, I'm thinking about uh, it. Are you a WWE fan? I was when I was younger, like back in the WWF era. That was kind of my. Okay, because I know there's a big overlap in uh, yeah. HeroClix and WWE. WWE. Yes. It, come October, after October. the WWE, WWE set has been released, I'm holding released. A, a bracket tournament where I'm getting tournament. all the hero clicks players hero. that love WWE on, WWE on to battle it out to see battle. who is the quote unquote the WWE, WWE hero clicks champion. champion. Definitely sounds pretty fun. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a huge wrestling fan, but I definitely wasn't when I was younger. I have a lot of buddies that are super into wrestling. I know your boy Beasley. I know your boy Beasley. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would definitely be down to play because, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting to play, you know, Stone Cold and to play Mankind. And uh, there's a lot of stuff. 
that I cannot wait to play in that. I'm a little sad with Stone little Cold. Sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I mean, it's still Stone Cold. I'm still going to play. Oh, I'm going to play him oh, too. But him. when you look at his ability, yeah. his, the only thing that comes to I, mind. I was kind of expecting. I was kind of expecting some more out of a stunner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nobody ever got up from a stunner. Nobody. Nobody. So, I don't know. I was a little disappointed from that. I was expecting him to, like, like deal his damage, give an action token, an action and, like, token a mobile or something. Yeah, I, I, that was kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe two action tokens, like, with a CCE move or something. Or... Yeah, like, he yeah, was we just devastating. Like... Yep. But, uh, cool. I will cool. uh, touch base we'll with you when that, we get you. a little closer for that. We have quite the lineup yep. signing up for that I'm so far. Um, Definitely sounds um, like it's going to be a blast. Matthew, Matthew Truillo? Hello? Trujillo. Trujillo. That's Hobbit. Trujillo. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. seeing the picture, you're totally right. I only know you're him right. as Hobbit. That's funny. It's Hobbit. Uh, he says, when, uh, he said, when are we going to practice again? I miss the legendary miss clicks, the Jesus. Jesus. Anytime. Uh... Anytime. Hobbit's always up late, and I am too, so we usually play, practice late at night. He's my late night buddy. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what Emily is for me, so Emily I totally understand. Understand. Now, now, I had a question I, for you, because I'm always you, racking my always brain how you brain. do this. You, did. you are kind you, of uh, synonymous with syn coming so up with coming like, up. crazy out of the box meta teams. You're meta always team. the first You're always on them. First on them. What, uh, what is your, like, creation your, process? Like, creation? Yes. So it usually starts with a figure, um, and I try to build around it. Uh, it. It's usually just something that I either want to make work or something that I saw someone else use and I really like. Um, and I don't really like to just take other people's teams. So if I see something like a game effect, that I, like, I try to take it and then, you know, strip everything else away from it and then try to rebuild it. Like, I hadn't seen they used it, you know what I mean? But it usually just starts with a figure, and then I try to, uh, you know, capitalize on their strengths. Like, like you know, the team I'm playing tonight is Gardner, and uh, it's really, the whole team is built around Gardner. It's traders trading space gems to carry him. It's unseen, unseen outwitting you so that he can hit you harder. It's, you know, retaliators to protect him. It's Plex. It's, 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 I, 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 I I usually just start with something weird that I think could win and maybe hasn't. The weird, or it's just, or Al Jordan. I just, I have certain figures that either when I play them in sealed or I see someone else play them in sealed or, or I play it a casual game at my shop. It just, there's certain figures that catch my eye and I'm like, that's a cool effect. I want to try to make that work. But you know, other than that, I don't think I have really have process i i really rely on my team a lot you know i'll build a team and i'll send it to my teammates and they'll be like hey that doesn't work or this doesn't work or what are you going to do if you run into this and so it's really a you know more a lot of input and from other people and troubleshooting a lot of practicing yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah i think that makes it, sense. i think that the, the thing that people have to do more than anything else is practices you have to Sometimes I'll build a team and it works one way in my head and then I put it on the board and it's just either positioning doesn't work or maybe the first turn is too clunky or slow. It's just you run into problems that you don't encounter until you actually get the pieces on a board and see it. Practice is huge and practicing against different strategies and different players. It's a, it's a big thing. You, uh, you already answered my second already answered question. My second. I was just about <laughs> to ask what your practice process your... was, so way to nip that one in the butt. That one in the butt. Yeah, I think that you have to practice against different people. If you, if you, if you, you know, are sparring against the same person over and over, you're not going to see different strategies or mindsets. You know, some people like to play really aggressive, or some people are conservative. It just it helps to see all those different tactics, thought processes. <clears throat> now, now, 
Go, you're saying you're loving gardening right, right now. Is there any now. other there piece any other that's had piece your eye lately your that you want to build around? You wanna build a- yeah, uh, Robin. Elseworlds Robin. Carrie Kelly. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I've, I've actually played it at a few different events, uh, different versions, and, you know, I don't think I've ever missed cut, but I've never won any events with it. It's just I haven't perfected it. And I, I, I've been trying to make it work with Daredevil, especially now that uh, Sam Cap rotated. Because, I mean, Carrie Kelly makes the vehicle, and then you put Daredevil in it, and then you have to protect the car turn your first turn, but then turn two, you just move, eject Daredevil, because the vehicle pushes to death, and then he can call in, poison, he has perplex, and really it's just it's a Daredevil that's in your face that you have to deal with now. And especially if you have retaliators lurking back in the starting area, it's just, he's created all this distance between himself and then, and you have... It's, it's a great, fun team, and it's kind of a nightmare. I had a version that I was working with, with Kobik and Schrader, that I ended up... I don't like it as much. I don't think that's the strategy, but I really am trying to make Harry um, Kelly Robin and Daredevil. I think there's something there. I haven't forgot quite figured it out. Yeah. You and- I remember seeing it, uh, seeing someone it, talking about it on talking, Facebook, and I was just like, was, really? That works? Really? That's genius. That's genius. That Robin's been on the shelf for on so long. On the shelf for so long. Yeah. Uh, she flew under the radar for a while. Now, now I don't know if, I don't uh, know if she uh, has she quite the gusto quite to win the... worlds this time around, but uh, I could definitely see definitely something happening in like regionals and, like, and whatnot with her. And whatnot with her. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know if there's the team at the moment. Or if there is, I just haven't discovered it yet. Maybe there is, and I haven't. It's one of those that I want to make work so bad, and I just haven't quite got there yet. No, that makes sense. That I'm uh, going to be I'm watching for when you do make that work. You make the... She's been in the tackle box a the long time. The tackle box a long time. Um. Um. Not quite worlds related, but have you been paying attention to X Men spoilers at all? Is it all? Uh, a little bit, yes. Is there anything? Is there anything? We're still kind of going off of me making the crazy memes. Is there anything out of X Men that caught your eye that people may not be looking at? Uh, yeah, it's uh, honestly, it's probably not the like most competitive piece that's been revealed so far. But the piece that I immediately saw and was like, I'm going to build something and try to make that work was uh, was Mojo. Oh, um, I love oh. I love Mojo at the, I think it's a 75 point dial that he has, the lowest. Yes. And yes. Uh, I really like that. I think that there's a lot you can do with him. And uh, I, I'm just so disappointed that this set isn't legal for Worlds. I think that like Nationals with, with the, the Avengers Black Panther set, it just open the field up so much. I think this set, if it, if they had been able to get it out just before Worlds, it would have been similar. It would have been such a wide open field and so much fun and cool. Um, I agree. I'm a big I, fan of sets dropping right before dropping big them. events. It really big speaks events. to really players speaks to as, players uh, as uh, team builders and team, not just pilots. Not just pilot. I, I totally agree. I've always thought that, well, I say always thought, before nationals and worlds were always together but once they split them i kind of thought that nationals was going to become the team builders tournament because you know we're used to getting the cut uh you know a week before and so you're usually going into nationals with a brand new sort of wide open meta and it's who can build the team that no one else expects and is going to catch everyone off guard you know sort of like I give Easton credit, kind of like what Easton did with Kobik this year. Even though he didn't win, he was pretty damn close. And uh, I just thought the Nationals was going to be that, you know, that team builders turn. They give a chance for the team builders to really shine. Seeing Easton, you know, you have the other Easton events. Breaks my heart. Oh no worries. My- <laughs> I know I love Easton. No one deserves a win more than that. No. He's the nicest no. guy in the game. Or if not, he's tied with Mike Eskew because they're both so nice 
and yeah, I can't wait to see that guy win. He's the one that I have no problem losing. I lose to him in top cuts all the time, and you can never be mad about losing to Easton. Um, how you just made me you think of another question. How did another... you feel about ro where rotation fell this year? Rotation. That it was after that nationals. it was after national. I didn't like it. Like I said before, I kind of thought I I, I kind of loved nationals because you had to come up with different teams and it, there wasn't you know a super established meta there weren't i mean sure you still had the archetypes hanging around maybe you only lost a piece or two from this team but for the most part you had you know there were counters that rotate so all of a sudden there are pieces that maybe people weren't playing like that aren't new or anything but their counter just rotate and it's i, I just love having a sort of wide open field i kind of don't like going like this meta for worlds, I, I I almost don't like going into knowing that we're just gonna see cosmic theme team after cosmic theme team after cosmic theme team, and then we'll see you know a few vultures and a few hulks and a few other things. But uh, you know I have a feeling you know sixty percent plus of the field is gonna be cosmic theme teams. I think that's I get pretty, that they're I not all the same; accurate. they're all different, but it's it's just kind of boring. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I often muse about mean, what nationals would have looked national. like with no shredders or, or, shred Hawkeye. or Hawkeye. Or no threat of shredders, anyway. Shredders. Yeah, we really didn't see a lot of shredders. Not as much as I expected with them about to rotate. I kind of expected people would push and sort of, you know, play the shredders that one last And I honestly thought that they would have done really well, especially considering the field ended up being a lot of obit cosmic and stuff i didn't think that that was necessarily a bad matchup for unless you know the other player was really good with you know map and positioning you can really hurt the, a good player can really hurt shredders map choices yes good placement on placement. stuff like genosha can like really genosha hurt, those shredders. hurt those shredders big, big time um, um did you catch the you catch announcement the about uh Rock Provincials in November. Uh, you're talking about the uh, the states. The, uh, yes, the, sorry. Uh, yes, sorry. My, my no, next little okay. they're provincials. provincials. Yeah, yeah. I was just making sure we were talking. I assumed we were talking about the same. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I kind of like the idea. I mean, the the 150 point constructed, 150 point sealed. I'm not a big fan of sealed events, so I prefer that to just you know full 300 point sealed i still quite I don't like it as much as just 300 modern but i think it's going to be interesting and fun i know i've talked to some people that aren't fans but i guess i, I don't feel that strongly about it that kind of thing i'm going to play either way yeah i'm in yeah. the same boat i'm going to play no matter what no matter what i'm also not I'm a, also big, sealed not a fan. big sealed fan um um, I'm just not a fan of putting in the homework and in whatnot the to potentially not, just pull potentially garbage just at the end of the day. The end of and then, yeah. um, I've never played in a half. I've, never played in a half. I've done it for fun. We do some that sometimes for like release day events at our shop. It's usually bigger point games, but uh, and those are usually really fun. You know, trying to build a theme team and maybe pull a theme team, but in a competitive event, I don't even know that I would limit myself to building a theme team in the hopes, you know, pulling a theme team. I don't think that. Yeah. The play. I'm not sure how it's I'm gonna work. Sure. Like instantly, I'm like, well, if you play X Men, well, it's a fairly safe bet fairly that you safe, might get a theme team. Get but a, do you theme, really roll the dice? Really roll the well, I just feel like the the colossals that I've seen are all almost so good that you. I feel like you couldn't not play the Colossal. And some of them have high point value, so if you pull a Colossal that's, you know, that doesn't have the X-Men keyword, you could just be kind of either limiting yourself to using, you know, the, the generic stuff from your booster, or, you know, you're breaking your theme to go with the Colossal, it just happens to be. True. I am pretty excited I about the prizing, though. I am too, Chase Prime said. I love Chase Prime sets. I was so sad when we stopped getting those for WKO. And oh, that was before my oh, that time. Was before I didn't know that was a thing. Dang. Oh yeah, uh, the year I started playing, um, the uh, the year that Joker's Wild and all that stuff came out. You want a Chase Prime set if you want a WKO. 
Oh, damn. So we oh, were getting, damn. I mean, I think that year our, our store here at Sci-Fi Factory in Lake Worth, we had the 66 or 67 players for a, for a WKO. Wow. Wow. Um, um, and it being Batman and animated, being Batman series. animated series. Oh, yeah. Never enough trouble alerts. No. But that's cool. I really wanted to pick your brain really on that, considering the announcement just came announcement out at like just came out at like six a.m. this morning or whatever this morning. it was. Yeah, I'm kind of excited that we're getting you know the uh, the second round of states because normally we only get I think one wave of states and provincials every year, right? Before yeah. This, this yeah. is the first year they're doing two. This year they're doing two. Yeah. So I'm just glad to get more you know rock rock events. I'm curious how it's going to interact gonna with interact. the WKOs, because w- usually November's usually WKO season. KOs. Yeah, I know a couple of my guys were concerned about that, but I'm sure that, you know, Howard has probably worked that so that it's not going to be too much of an issue, I'm, I would think. I'm thinking we get I'm WKOs in, like, WKOs December-ish. December-ish. Yeah, maybe early December. Yeah, because yeah. Rock Cup's in October... States is in uh, uh, in November now, in so I'm thinking now. WKOs KO. December-ish. Yeah, I could definitely see that starting maybe the week after, you know, the uh, the Rock States and Provincial ended. Which having so many of those high-quality events high quality packed events, in back-to-back, back I'm back totally to back a fan of. Same here. We have a lot of uh, shops around that host those kinds of events, so... It's a lot of fun being able to go, you know, for three or four weekends in a row. Real quick, while I'm thinking about it, I do want to give a quick shout out to Howard Brock and uh, The Rock. The Rock. My channel will have all the stream footage from Rock Cup this year, just like I did last year. Last year. They will be holding it out of Lucky Dice Games in Huntsville. So, thank you for Howard Brock for putting this on. Putting this. Um, but now let's, but uh, now turn, let's our back turn our attention back to the world. Is, um, is, is there a sleeper figure you're sleeper keeping your eyes on for worlds? On? Not really a figure. Um, I think that there'll be something. I think that really the sleeper might be barrier. Uh, I think that there might end up being more barrier this year than people expect. Uh, I definitely think it's a possibility. It's too easy to play right now with the traders in the ring. It's just, it's. I would also be worried about building a strategy too much, basing too much of your strategy around that ring because you know collector is still a thing. There are still fast teams that if they win map are going to come right over there and pick the ring up. You know, there's always a chance you could lose it. I mean, with it being so easy to build these big cosmic theme teams. So we've seen, it's just, so we've seen seven episodes sorry, but, now. This is the seventh one. The seventh and one. And out of the first six, first six three of the teams I faced the had the zero are... ring. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, see? Uh, so people are playing it. They're playtesting. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a ton of barrier to the field so i guess maybe the sleeper would be what beats barrier to the pim pocket tank oh yes um, professor oh, x yes. bald professor x call in um i will not be sad uh, on, that tank, be sad on that tank rotates no uh trust me as someone who loves to play barrier tech i kind of got excited thinking it was going to rotate this year and uh you know earlier in the year i was planning on playing barrier tech at nationals and then when I was told that it wasn't rotating, my heart kind of broke, and then I kind of ended up swapping my... Because I knew from the beginning of the year that I was going to play Jakeem because Jakeem was rotating. So I had that set in my mind. I was playing Jakeem for this year. It was just, what is it going to be, Jakeem Barrier Tech or Jakeem Mastermind Tech? And when the tank didn't rotate, I decided to go with Mastermind. Yeah, my main practice yeah, my main plays the tank religiously, the tank. and I'm just tired of being I'm tank. just tired of being tank. <laughs> it's it's really good right now. It hurts Kobik and Unseen too. And all those people oh, playing, all those Mr. Oz. playing Mr. Oz. Yep, or Retaliators. Typically Mr. Oz is hanging out with the Retaliators. Yeah, usually. 
But uh, no, I think I would uh, agree no. with you. The sleeper would be barrier tech be barrier and or tech counter barrier. And or counter so. Barrier. so that's kind of when I throw it to everyone just to see what people are keeping their eye on. But uh, but bold, uh, bold, bold Professor X on the pocket tank is a beautiful. I haven't been seeing much of the uh, bold of Professor the, uh, X bold tank throw lately. Tank. Yeah, uh, it's there aren't a lot of teams that are you know relying on the weird formations like the mastermind or the the uh, the barrier. There's not a lot of that going on in the meta right now. Well, right now, I have a feeling that's going to change really soon. <laughs> yeah, give it two weeks. Yeah, give eh? it two weeks. Eh? Yeah. But uh, with but, that being uh, said, uh, being you said, ready to get down to our game? Ready to get or down what? to our game or what? Absolutely. I might have some more questions for you after. We'll see if anything after. comes up. Sure. Let's roll for map. Let's map. I am unthemed. Themed. You got it. Oh. Against your team. Sleep. Take you kind of wide open. I think take you on. Maybe make. Well, you decide on a map. I just want to let everyone know that the team I'm, no, playing, the team tonight I'm playing tonight was designed by Mr. Randy by Carter Mr. Randy. of CWO, of C the Clicks World Order. I appreciate him for shooting the team list to be able to play this. To able uh, question, Josh. Do you have the um, the uh, Hanging Island image for that map? No, I do not. No, I do not. I don't either. I, I haven't made it yet. That's I'll use... What is this month? Oh, Galador. Oh, Galador. Galador. Sounds good. The Galador continues to be relevant. Continues to be relevant. It's a great map. Definitely makes oh, my sorry. Is, that, is that which side you wanted? Yeah, I think they're both fairly yeah, I think similar. They're both. Right? All right. Okay. Yeah, I think it's maybe the hindering is where the difference is. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. percent on where to throw the dune buggy in this map. I think I'm gonna throw the dune buggy here. This is uh, definitely an interesting map to try and work my perplexes on, that's Perplex. for sure. I figured the it would make you have to finesse your placement a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely um, 
definitely already definitely giving me a headache. Giving me a head I'll admit to not having as much practice having as on much this map as I probably map. should. Probably. It's, yeah, it's a tough map. So is that new um, metal arena. Yes. Yes. Everyone okay, so for the gems, for the gems that I'm starting on these guys, I'm just going to use the little icons. I'll use the snail for the space gem and the stopwatch for the uh, time gem. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Um, now, now, can I suggest a uh, uh, more visually appealing way to do visually it? Appealing way to sure. Color coat your traders. Do you know how to traders? do that? Yeah. Give them each a color, them each and a then color. just uh, pop the gems below pop them the gem. here, so pe you, people can kind of track your switching. And you said and time gem? Time gem? Yes. I have one of those for you. One of for you. There you go. That's just what other people have just been doing on the channel, so I'm just keeping it so Oh, just yeah, I got you. It's a good idea. I don't have the images for all of the, for actually for all the gym. But yeah, that's a little more of a convenient way to do it. Here, I even have a better looking space gem. There you go, sir. You're all hooked up. You're all hooked up. Now, back to figuring oh, out this uh, placement this debacle you've stuck me in. I think that's the way I want to go. Maybe? Oh, I know what I want to do. Okay. Do that there. There's like no good way to fit everyone in. Let's try that. Sure. No, because my giant girl blocks. Well, darn it. There we go. That's better. I think I am set up when you are, sir. When you are. Yeah, just getting these uh, colors and stuff. Cool. We are in no rush. We are getting these things taken off. And I need to see them. I always get nervous always playing get Vulture on stream because Emily watches because every Emily episode. Watches every episode. So I feel like I'm under I the screen like, under the like screen one of the Vulture masters. Vulture masters. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing you, which is playing arguably you, another one of the Vulture enough. Masters. So. I don't know what I was doing playing oh, was Vulture this playing game. Vulture this game. All right, there we go. Now I think I'm okay. Okay. Uh, you're cool with a 45 uh, minute cool timer. 45 minute timer. Absolutely. All right, you can start and now. You can start now. Okay. We're going to phase with. Oh, I'm obviously not. I don't think I'm going to give you any walking woods. I feel like that's probably. Or I'm not going to give you a Leslie and generate walking woods. Because you have Colonel Poison, so you have Battle Fury, and that seems like. Yeah. I will phase with Trader. One, two, three, six, eight. Picking up the uh, Nightbringer Ring. And then he will uh, sidestep. Drop it under Gardener, who will equip it. So he will drop his time gem. Unseen will sidestep 
pick up the time gem and equip it. Okay. Let's see. Trader number two is going to carry. Uh, what is your Hulk speed? Is it 10 printed? Uh, give me two seconds. It is indeed 10 printed. Printed. So we will... Uh, my immunity? Hey, you can fling if you want. I will uh, sidestep with a uh, traitor carrying gardener and unseen. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to trade any gems. Uh, gardener will free smoke. Drop one under traitor. One right here. Let's uh have trader in the middle perplex up on scenes defense. The other trader up the uh, trader without the tokens defense. Okay. Okay. And I will move floor. Fourth action, and then end of turn all floor. I don't heal, and that'll be your turn. Cool. Speaking of the Vulture Speaking Master, the Vulture Emily, Emily just popped in the chat. Just popped in the chat. Oh, nice. Hi, Emily. Um, Big Tony's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Picking up the Exospecs, and then going to sidestep back, do a, drop them under Hulk. Under Hulk. Hulk is going to equip the specs. Um, I'm going to TK the Ock Arms to my boy Vulture my bo so he can sure. equip those. Big Tony is going to sidestep to there to perplex up Vulture's defense. Wesley Crusher is going to perplex up uh, Vulture's defense. He doesn't take a damage, but also a doesn't damage, remove a also token. Token? Yep. And uh, the Big Tony that Tony moved to bring... To um, Hulk, um, is Hulk stuff is will perplex stuff. up Hulk's defense. And then, um, I guess Everett Ross I guess will Everett Ross the, uh, the perplex into Vulture perplex as well. Into... Okay. I'm just checking to make, to see if I always have to do that double. He may modify by he plus may modify two. by plus two. So I'm only going to use so the, the perplex regularly. Perplex regularly. And um, that's my four actions. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, beginning a turn, I have a leadership with Groot. Nope. Drop the uh, hindering mark gardener. Let's drop here. So uh your terrain, that's the dune buggy? Yes, sir. And that gives minus one to attack to characters within four. so many squares? Yeah, within four. And that's uh, all characters or just uh, opposing? 
Uh, I believe it's uh, all characters. I... And for anyone wondering, it's there to counter barrier shenanigans on shenanigans maps on like map. Ivy's, uh, Ivy's Greenhouse. Ivy. All other characters All. within four squares modify attack minus one. Okay. Okay. We are going to sidestep with Trader. Bang. Gardener. See. The trader with the red trader is going to perplex up Unseen's defense. Okay. Phase one, two. Phase two, right. Here, carrying Gardner. We're going to outwit uh, Vulture's um, charge. Okay. I'm going to perplex up going to perplex up gardener's defense to a 19 okay uh, we will sidestep or first i'm gonna trade the time gem from um, unseen to trader it's a uh, black And then uh, Unseen will sidestep. To... Sidestep to here. And um, I think it's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna rest, or I'm gonna throw down my free smoke first. Them under Gardener, unseen. And um, I am going to move this trader one. He's gonna sidestep up this trader. He's gonna rest. I'm gonna move Groot there. Roll for Flora. No heal. Rest the red. Okay. Interesting. I was expecting you to have to leave the unseen a little more open to get that outwit off. So, let's see what we can do about this. I have a couple plays, none of which I would classify as being ideal under the current situation.
That looming threat of Mangog, I tell ya. <laughs> right? It, uh, puts some pressure on, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm going to leadership with Colonel Poison. I get it. I'm going to remove it from, um, Vulture, I guess? They share a keyword? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, no. I will do it off of uh, Oz. Off of, uh, Oz. So the same points. Good catch. Thank you. I have to try and cheat to beat you. Try and cheat to beat you. Come on. Player of your caliber, I need every your edge. Caliber, I need every edge. <laughs> it's also well known I'm that, scared also of this well team. Known that I'm. Hulk with Exospecs is scary. He is. But, uh. Uh, this map kind of hinders me. Hinders me. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we are going to go. Going. Plus one to plus one. attack with attack. Uh, Wesley Crusher. Rolls a five, so five. no token so removal. Attack on who? Uh, Vulture, sorry. Uh, Vul oh, it's okay. And then Everett Ross is Everett going Ross. to go One. two into Vulture's attack. And I think it's on a uh, one a or five, two uh, he one takes or damage. You, you, you know I outwit... Oh, okay, I see. Are you planning on killing my outwit? I was saying, you know I outwitted Vulture's charge, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. I got a plan. I think. Just, just roll with me just here. here. I got you. So plus three to vultures. Yes. And yes. it's on a one to four. A Everett takes a damage. Everett. So damage. Everett's on click two. So that's plus three to his attack. Big Tony's going to go Tony's. one into his damage. One in Um, uh, so we're looking at, looking at a 4 and 13, I believe. 13. Yes. Yeah. 4 and 14. Okay. It's not horrible. Not horrible. So now here's my question. You should know this. You should know this. My memory's sure. a little fuzzy my right now. A little fuzzy right now. If I kill something with Vulture. I kill something with Vulture. Yes. Do I get the charge because it's charge? his weird trait, no. or because trade. it's outwitted, no charge, no matter what? Right. As long as it's outwitted, he can't use charge. Okay. Well, we're still going for it. Still going for it. Um. Are you there, Josh? Yeah, sorry. I was just thinking of it. Oh, it's okay. Just... No, it's okay. I was making sure I didn't lose you or something. No, it's all good. It's all You're just making me think You're way harder than think... I should be at this time. I should be. Sorry. Because there's a way to do it. A... I'm just not 100% sure it's ideal. So I move. Hypersonic. Okay. Uh, the Tony that's beside Tony Hulk that, is Hulk. going to plus one to Hulk's plus attack. To Hulk. And Hulk okay. is going to attempt to hypersonic Gardner. He's going to go ten to there. Sure. And make his first attack. 
or make his normal attack rather. Normal. Uh, that's a negatory. I will prob that. Prob. Or actually, seventeen hit Gardner. No. Hit. No, Gardner is sitting at a nineteen. Okay, I will prob that I with prob uh, that. Um, Oz. Oz. Sure. Oh my God. Oh my. Out. Ugh. Okay. Poor Hulk. Okay. Poor Hulk indeed. Poor Hulk. He just wanted to smash. He did just want to smash. Just want to. So he goes to click two instantly. And the the Avengers ability is it only ability. for only f vanilla move? Vanilla. Move. I believe it's when you take a move action, but yeah, I think it's for move action. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But I think it's when this character is given a move action plus one. Okay. So I don't actually so I don't get actually to break away and do my second away. move. Because I lost it move. A lot. I totally thought something completely different was about. I thought you were gonna make Hulk colossal with Wasp and pick TK to TK your Vulture twice to get him up there. That's not Wasp. That's not Wasp. Oh, that's not Title Wasp. No, that's regular no, old that's giant regular. girl. Oh, okay. I thought you had Title Wasp on this team. No. Yeah, Title, you're right. Title no. Wasp is in yellow. Yes, sir. Okay, I thought something totally different was coming. <laughs> I thought there was about to be a Colossal Hulk TKing Vulture and stuff. <laughs> no, I was going to try and get rid of this Gardener. Get to... I see. Get now, to, yes. Get to the Unseen and take Unseen out to yeah, then start my Vulture. Get, get your charge back. I see. Yeah. So, I stop my movement there. Right? Because if I'm at a movement, I don't get the breakaway in the second break attack. Away. Right. Uh, well, Hulk would have to actually have to move again to get the free attack. Yes, but I get the attack yes. for moving in, attack. like the yeah. initial quake. The initial. Correct. He does get his free quake now for that. Yes. Yes. Which, wow, my rolls are horrible. Horrible. Okay. Oh my okay. God. Um. Yeah, that changes the plan completely. Because I was going to TK Vulture up there to put in work, but now I don't think that's the move. I kind of think I TK Vulture away. I don't know. That was like as bad of a start as one could have thought. As one could have thought. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I probably should have held my probably perplexes should've. till after. Hmm. So I'm not getting retailed oh, on. on. That is very true. But Gardner can still do his thing, and it's eight, right? Eight. Uh, his range is six. Yes. But he currently so has the silly ring on him. Silly. Yes, so he can do it for free, so pretty much anyway. Yeah. God darn it. Why you gotta make this so tough on me? Tough on me. I think your dice made this more tough on you. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like I have to kill Gardner to no kill. matter what. Like, or try. Or try. Because either way, Gardner is gonna way. get at Vulture and do his thing. Gardner's definitely gonna tend some plant. Alright. We're going to go for it anyway. I'm going to TK Vulture to here. Move him two to here with here. Oz's ability. Oz. Yes. Vulture's going to Vulture's then... Going. Wait, that's here. One, two to here. Yeah, Vulture's gonna sidestep to here. Yes. To here. 
And then he's gonna roll to see if he's he gets the second sidestep. Of course I don't. Of course. That would have been the only thing that redeemed me, because I would have been able to move here. Move here? Yeah. To get unseen. Yeah. So, I think so. we're buggered. But, uh, I'm gonna flurry that gardener. Okay. First attack. I hit. 13 on a 19, you need a 6. I will prob once with traitor. Okay. Hit. And then once with unseen. Still hit. So for four, correct? Yes. Yes. So that'll put Gardner on click two. And then he will do his second attack. And that's a hit. Four, I'll take three over. That puts me on... And now... Oh, no, I'm, that kills Gardner. I'm sorry, Gardner doesn't have five. Okay, cool. I yeah. was like, man, he's deeper than I thought. Than no, I thought. no, no, no. I, I thought he had five. He doesn't. That's four. Okay, cool. That feels good. Even if I lose this horribly, That's I killed horrible. Gardner. So the ring is unequipped KO, so it'll be gone. Woo! I have officially Woo. scored 50 officially. points. 50. 55. Yes. Yes. It's all about the small things right now. Um. Yeah. So what does Colonel Poison do? Because now we got to use our whole toolbox to try and make this work. <laughs> you laugh, but I'm not kidding. But I'm not. Uh, Colonel Poison's gonna go. Just gonna go hide out in that bush there. Bush there. Okay. And then I'll clear Big Tony. And, uh, hope for the best, I guess? Does Hulk push? Hulk did push. I think that Hulk was... Did. You have a good point. It is a very bad day for Hulk. For Hulk. I'm feeling it might only be about to get worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, leadership with Groot doesn't matter because no one has. So I will. I'm going to move Manga. One, two, three. So if I have any advice for anyone at Worlds, it's don't crit miss on don't. your Alpha Strike. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with Hulk, who has like a, a 15 attack, then like crazy. Like, I know it did not feel good. It's on top. Hulk's it's like, I can't top. miss. Oh, wait. So, we will perplex up Mangog's attack by one with a tra the red trader. Okay. What feels um, worse feels is probing into the crowd. Probing into the <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's always a painful one. Unseen will call in Harley. Oh, boy. Harley is going to mine or plus one plot point to get the uh, plus two perplex. Yep. And she will yep. up Mangog's attack by plus two. Oh dear God. Oh and then, dear God. Uh, Unseen is going to outwit Hulk's defense. Yep. And we will retaliate right here. Come going on, uh, thir on. 13 on some numbers. First one's an eight. Uh, would it be twelve would because be of the doom buggy? The doom buggy. It would be twelve because of the doom buggy. You're correct. So that'll hit twenty. I'm going uh, to prob that prob. with uh, Mr. Oz. So that's. I will prob with Raider with the time gem, and that will hit. Why can't you up my rolls for just this attack? 
So that's it's a gonna be dead hulk. Four damage. Dead hulk. And Colonel Poison Colonel po is uh Oh boy. I'm just checking out his defense. Oh yep, Colonel Poison was a Colonel nineteen, po so that's uh dead Colonel Poison. And Vulture takes four. Three over the top. Yeah, so he's on click four. Uh, and then the second attack with Mangog. Yep. Oh my so god. You monster. You mon that's, that's a uh, dead Vulture. Dead Vulture. The, I don't think I can get a running shot. So we, I will, one, two, three. I'm going to have to trade back objects with Trader so that Unseen, the, uh, uh, oh no, Unseen, uh, yeah, so that Unseen gets the time gem and Trader gets the space gem. Okay, I put the ring up by Gardner just to make me feel good. Sure. Make... Thank you. So I've taken one cost of two cost. So let's phase with Trader to here. Do my third cost, and then phase with the other Trader. Seven. Trader number two. Scene. And then trader number two will sidestep, carrying unseen and the other trader. It's gonna double up blue trader. And then Mangog will sidestep back. Harley comes off board and I roll for Flora. No heal. Woo! All right. So I'm gonna play this out like a man. Like a man. This is effectively over. Yeah, Mangog tends to do that. See, so I went for the. So I, ah, we'll break this down after. It's gonna be quick. So, sure. Big Tony is gonna perplex up giant girl's attack. Everett Ross is going to perplex that giant girl Ross. attack. Everett Ross does not take a damage for that. So her attack is a... A... 13 right now. 13 right now. Correct. And she is going to attempt to take out the Mangog. <coughs> uh, there's nowhere I can punch you. Though no, I'm not in my own Doom buggy, unfortunately. So that's an 18, you're a 19, correct? Correct? Yes, 19 improved. I will prob that. I will prob that. <laughs> yep. Yay, I hit the 19. Yay, yay. Um, Unseen will prob it. Are you close enough? Close. He has plus one range from the uh, time gem, so he'll be at 10 range. <sighs> you monster. I got it, thank God. God. Yep. Yeah. Uh, improve on the goog. <sighs> Is Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Wesley Crusher will perplex up. Do I have the range for that? Oh. Well then. With that, I think it's game. I think. I guess I have one more shot at this. One more shot. I should have done this first, but Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops. Uh, Mister. I nope. What am I thinking? He's forty, not fifty. Now I'm just panicking to try and get something done here. Get something <laughs> done here. No, I think I got nothing. Yeah, good game, bud. Good game, bud. You too. Uh, 
So, I want to break this down. I want to break this for everyone that was watching and was like, what? Why did he make that Why attack? Why did he make that attack? So, I was worried that if I, I sat that if I in stabbed, my starting area, my starting you were just going to start picking me apart with Gardner. Me Gardner. If, if you had next turn, I was going to try to kill Hulk and then outwit Vulture so that I you couldn't really get me at all if I ran. Yeah, see, that was yeah. my concern. Concern. And then, um, um, my whole idea was whole idea. to get in, <laughs> drop the drop Gardener, the... at least to weaken up that the weaken. first attack with Vulture could Vulture. kill him, and giving me a second shot at, and shot at... Uh, Unseen? Unseen? Yeah. Because if I get that Unseen dead, then unseen. I can go off and I do my Vulture thing. My Vulture thing. But unfortunately, unfortunately. Hulk just decided Hulk to take the night off. off. Yeah, that was some terrible rolls. If Hulk hits or, uh, if Hulk hit both those attacks, both. he kills Gardner, he kills. and then I get two flurries to try and drop Unseen? Yep. And that gives me pretty me, good odds of being odd, able to go off and do my vulture thing. Do my vulture thing. Yeah. Uh, so at that point, I was so, gonna be hoping for a mangog. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this so, match was really live by the sword, die by the sword. Like, I think that's the best way to put that. If it hits, I probably end up doing pretty well. Well. But unfortunately, my dice just took the night off. Just took the night off. Um, um, damn Mangog. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about the traitors and the time gem and unseen. It's a lot of perplexes and probs, so they can even make, you know, they, they can make getting a, a hit off kind of t they want. Yes. That's yes. That's for sure. That's... I was a, uh, slightly worried. I, slightly I worried. Was, I was kind of regretting uh, that I didn't phase out further. For... I really wanted to go over there with both traders perplex down hulks attack by two and then outwit vultures charge and so I do the sidestep chain back but i miscounted some squares one square off from being able to see from the see the perplexes on hulk Ugh. it kind of killed me yes but it did like just hearing that potential hearing from your team is super cool it's super um, it's, it's a fun uh, team. I really love this team. It's really just kind of throw stuff in your face. Like against your Vulture tech, I couldn't really do it. But most games, I'm uh, having the uh, Walking Wood bring the uh, ring back so that I can have Trader B phase out, sidestep, bringing out both Walking Wood. And then, you know, I keep, you know, Gardner and Unseen back, depending on the matchup. That's against most matchups. So that I get the Walking Woods over there in your face, and then you're kind of forced to do i deal with these flurries from these zero point pogs or do i kill them and trigger mangog or do i call something in to kill them so mangog doesn't retaliate but then i'm giving up points for the id and it's sort of just mangog is something that you have to you you have to deal with and your opponent can sort of force it on you by putting a lot of bodies around you mm -hmm. i was trying to figure out try how i could cross the board to get to mangog but uh, with you suffering unseen you in my face and in my... shutting down uh, my charge, it was charge. Uh, problematic. So I don't know if oh, I, I know missed if... a line of a line. attack, but I think that was my highest percentage way to go percentage. about it, the way I did it. I did it? No, absolutely. Um, I think you did it just about as well as you could. Because even if I... So I could TK him six. Yeah, the only thing I admit that I think that you could have maybe done was if you had TK Vulture to maybe this square. And then... Um, Which one? I didn't see the ping. Sorry, I'll, I'll place him there. Okay. If you place okay. him there, and then uh, the free move from Oz to there. Yeah. And then sidestep yep. to this square. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You, oh yeah, yeah. You, you would you would have been adjacent to unseen, so you could have flurried him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. To potentially pick up the uh, charge. That would have been the way to do it. The way to do it. Because uh, you definitely got through. It would have been on my sense roll. Yep. No, that's uh, that so, is. I knew I did something wrong there, and that would have been it. 
But uh, yeah, I was really living and dying on that Super Saints uh, rule then. Yeah, and I think it's time you you have this this plan of action, and then you know you roll a four, a five, and a crit miss. It kind of makes you have to reevaluate that plan, and sometimes you miss the obvious things because sort of trying to recover. I know I'm I'm guilty of that. Yeah, I'll admit that I kind of went into panic mode when I crit panic missed there. Oh, I've done it. It's because sometimes, you know, you plan for this, you know, this 15 attack is going to hit. And then when it doesn't, it's like it, it, your plan just went out the window and it's you have to reevaluate. Which, you know what? Which, you I know like what? stuff coming like up st like this on stream because it kind of shows people kinda what, kinda not, shows to do, like. what not to do. Well, and it sometimes shows that, you know, sometimes it's out of your control. I mean, you make the winning move and it's just the dice don't agree with you. Like, I've seen that happen to Easton so many times. <laughs> like at just, nationals? You know, like you make, at nationals? Yeah, you make the right play, and it's just the dice are like, not today. How many times are those How dice going to say not today to poor Easton? Or East? Oh, I know. He'll, he'll, I have a feeling once he gets over the hump, it's just like Easton's going to win everything for a few years, and everyone's going to be like, just start losing again, man. Yeah, can you go back to yeah. second? Yeah. But uh, no, I do. So be uh, careful no, what you wish for, is what I'm saying. In that, in that, in that. Instead of Patrick Yapoko's year of domination, yeah. it'll be Easton Brock's year right. of domination. domination. Right. But uh, no, that's some good you know for that. everyone to note that, like, when you do plan for that you big attack plan. to hit and hit. It, the worst possible thing it's happens, possible. keep your cool and keep just try cool and, and try remember it. the other avenues you other have. Avenues. Right. Because I will say I am guilty of getting guilty on tilt on more often than not. More often. I, I do sometimes too, and it's almost always that freak thing where it's, you know, I need a five to win the game, and I have two probs. I'm going to have three rolls to hit that, and then you go four, three, three, you know, and it's just like, oh my gosh. And it just sometimes happens. <coughs> yeah, but. Uh... Yeah. All things considered, that was a pretty good game. Really showcased the power really showcased of Mangog. The power well, Mangog. I kind of felt that it was going to go that way. Both of these teams are kind of... Well, your team especially. I think you win or lose within the first few turns against just about every team, you know? Yes. Yeah. I actually kind of like all this club. I do too. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a smart team. Because something that I missed, and I didn't think about it until you started your turn, was that Hulk was going to pick TK, and that you were going to TK in free place Vulture twice. I totally missed that. I wasn't thinking about um, Hulk picking TK. Yes, the specs yes. give him so much versatility. So much for Definitely. It's great. And I also thought about that, about going on a more wide open map and just blowing the specs up, but I thought that this would help me move over up to you and sort of limit your TK range, limit your perplex, and your just make your placement weird. I also definitely thought that was title wasp. <laughs> Which is hilarious, might I say. Yeah. When you said that, I was like, when you said that, I was like, no, that's just plain old giant girl. Old giant girl. She wishes she could make Hulk she could a make giant. That'd be nice. But, um, yeah, I think you made the right yeah, map. I think you made the right map. Sure. Um, this map did make this me map did make overthink me things a little, and, um, and it really benefits it really the, benefit. uh, thing you got going on with Garden, so, so, so I can't exactly sit back and set up. Because and... another thing you could have done was, like, just, uh, Gardner's normal attack knocks, uh, Vulture off his charge ability. Right, that was going to be my plan for the next turn. Uh, if I couldn't, my if my uh, if my call in miss uh, didn't hit Hulk, if I if I didn't kill your Hulk, I was going to then uh, hit Vulture off of charge and then try to uh, outwit Hulk instead and then move back. And I that was sort of my backup, the sort of the backup plan. If I the plan was to call in Cyclops and Cyber Blast Hulk to death. And then outwit Vulture, and then I feel like I sort of have your team under control a little bit. Yeah. But if Cyclops yeah. with, and I don't get Hulk, then I'm thinking, uh, 
just yeah pop vulture off of his charge and outwit hulk and then at least it's just not as scary vulture loses the values and yeah that team has a lot yeah, that of, team uh, has a lot of a lot of utility a lot i wasn't of even thinking the cyclops even... calling calling so you oh, yeah that's so uh, you... yeah unseen is huge on this team yeah one turn just cripples the team I'm uh, I'm a pretty I'm big a, fan I'm of that squad. I like as well. It's a strong team. I'm glad we got to see uh, see uh, your version of it because Devin didn't bring didn't. the one that won him Canadian national. Canadian. So yeah, I, I know that he. Uh, I liked his version, but I know that he swapped um, unseen for collector, which collector is really really good in his own. I just love the fact that unseen has sidestep. Yes. And um, yes. and the outwit is huge in a lot of matches, especially the ma the vulture and the man god matchups. Giving opposing retail minus two, it just it's so good. It's such a great ability. I definitely agree. Unseen's huge right now because like people thought we were gonna see people different we... retaliators, but in fact they just went fact, like went even higher. Even. Yeah, it's. There's too many that do too many different things, and it's, you know, it, it's funny to see the different retaliators that people use as the meta changes. It's like now that Surtur was so good for so long, and now that Uni and Black Panther and, you know, Goblin King rotated, the other two aren't seeing play as much. You almost don't see Surtur at all. Yep. I haven't yep. seen a Surtur in a long time. A long time. And before that, you know, Mangog had kind of disappeared for a little while, and then now I think is he's just so good against so many different teams I mean the double astronomer team if you can if you can press the double astronomer team and, and get over on their side of the board it really puts them in a pickle because they have to go for you or they have to let themselves get Mangog and it's just a tough choice for them to have to make once you're over there yeah because even with uh, all I the extra ops Mangog's not a good time Right, and even against an opposing unseen with this team, I have you know you have two perplexes with the traders. You can call in a Harley and get another two. So you can get Mangog plus four to his attack. So even against an unseen, he's rocking a twelve, and that's not too shabby when you have a few probs to back it up. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. Considering definitely astronomer right. is eighteen, you know, uh, I played against Nate's astronomer team in the finals of an online win -a map. You know, he had three probs and I had two probs and I was able he took out one of my traders he made the choice to just go ahead and take out a trader with his two astronomers so I was only able to get my Mangog plus three so I had to retaliate with an 11 and after you know five probs it was a crit hit oh. and <laughs> that oh. that killed his whole team in one in one go at least he ended it quick I guess yeah, it's with Mangog. It's it's kind of like that. He's kind of like, you know, Hulk or Vulture, and it's like if you let him go off against the right team, he can just end it because his reach is. People underestimate his reach with that retail. I'm uh, pretty upset at myself for missing that triangle sidestep. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was just so damn flustered so about that Hulk crit miss. Well, yeah, this is a nice team you have here. I like it. 100% Randy Carter's and making, Randy. but I might adopt it as one of, my, uh, one of it's, my one of my it's another team that, It's another team that shines now that the double and scenes have kind of taken a backseat as well. You aren't seeing a lot of that anymore like you were for a while. Oh. There's what was supposed to be time. Uh sorry, double and scenes? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if, if you guys had that up there. I know down here, I know a lot of meta builds are regional. Yes. We had that yes. was kind of dominating our scene, you know, this past six months before Nationals. There was a ton of double unseen ultra chase tech. Uh, I know DJ Riggin was playing some double unseen in Photon where he was taking pogs. Interesting. There was some Interesting. Double unseen is a fun team. It's It's... A lot better than people give it credit. Like against your team, if they just run over and outwit Hulk's hypersonic and Vulture's charge, then it's just, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, double right. unseen would give me fits. 
But we're seeing a, they with the the uh, ABPI set we saw a ton of characters low low point cost characters that have power cosmic. And now you can get these big, you know, plus six plus seven theme teams where everyone's power cosmic. I can also see why unseen maybe has uh, slipped to the back of some people's minds. Yeah, because unless you're playing Kovic, he could be quite useless in quite a few matchups. Yeah, if you're not playing him with Kobik. Kobik is so good. Yes. Yes. Kobik is super good, but at the same time, at I the same don't time, think I don't. Kobik is the be-all, end-all, like some people treat her. No, 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 not at all. Uh, I was kind of sad when I saw how prevalent Kobik was world or at Nationals, because that was when we got a lot of the information about the... Um, you know, the team abilities and some of the stuff for the WWE figure. Yes. And I was just thinking, yes. man, now if you play WWE in a competitive environment, you're just giving Kobik so much ammo. Oh, I know. <laughs> so many cool things she can do by stealing that WWE team ability. It's just great. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so much versatility for her. Can't be shot. Can't like, be the list goes on. Right. The list I'm, goes kind on. Of, I'm kind of glad that Kobik isn't very popular in our local meta down. We see a lot more Astronomer, Ultra Chase Thanos, uh, stuff like that. Uh, not a whole lot of people playing Kobik. And so I'm sure you could probably get off with playing some WWE stuff. I am holding as far my as, for Undertaker. Because I want Undertaker to have some form of don't die. Don't die. And I, that's how I am for Mankind. For McFoley. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, they better we're getting the yeah, Rock'em Sock'em. And I don't think they've spoiled that yet. They have not. I'm super curious. He was always one of my favorites kid. Him and Stone Cold. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, so. I'm from Texas, so I loved Stone Cold when I was a kid. The guy from Texas the liking guy. the Texas rattlesnake. I don't understand that yeah. one at all. Right? Want Crazy. Actually, just the other night, my wife and I the watched uh, The Condemned uh, with uh, Stone, Cold. Stone Cold. Yeah. Oh, the whole movie, oh. I just kept wanting to hear that glass breaking the glass. for his entrance. Yeah. For his entr <laughs> Those jean shorts Ooh, and knee pads. <laughs> hey, he was still hey. stunnering people with, like, two reconstructed knees, okay? okay. Absolutely. Like, it, Rattlesnakes like, don't have knees. What are you talking about? He reminds me of someone's dad that just got cranky and just, you cranky know, busts in your know, room to whoop some your ass. Yo, know, when you're from Texas, uh, a lot of dads are like that. It's pretty funny. I gotta come he is, visit. He is, come he, he's a lot of Texas dads. If not, he's definitely, you have at least one uncle like that. <laughs> Texas sounds like a fun place to visit all of a sudden. Oh, Texas is a great place. Uh, you know, I, I we have a few teammates and I have buddies that live up in Colorado, like Hobbit, you know, Matt Trujillo. And uh, he, he, he travels down all the time to play in, you know, WKOs or state events or some of the weird, like we've done the, we've had a, a cash bash where it was a three man team constructed event for cash. You know, we pulled like, 40 something players. I think we had 46 players or I don't remember some, some big number. And, uh, so we have a lot of guys that come down here. It's a lot of fun. We have a team juggernaut or good friends of ours. They're up in Arkansas and they come down here once a year and we go up there once a year to have a couple of big team versus team events. And it's a lot of fun. That's uh DJ Riggins DJ team. Am Riggins I wrong? Team? Am yep. I wrong? Oh yeah. There's a lot of those guys, DJ and, Jamie Jordan and Johnny Alpha and Jeff Farrow. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a bunch the of good shot. guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fired. yeah, they had Brad Milburn, I think, make top eight at nationals with Ultra Chase Thanos when everyone was really unsure about Ultra Chase Thanos. Yep. He definitely did do he that. Did. I uh, I still think he has a place in the meta. He's slowly shaking out. Holy sh yeah, a lot of people are playing him down here. Uh, people are playing him with Vulture, uh, giving Vulture uh, power cosmic so that he can't be outwitted and he has willpower is pretty huge yeah that is pretty good yeah, actually. That... Um, it uh, um... makes it so that I can't outwit his charge with unseen you know and makes your day a little Thanos... tougher oh yeah with Thanos you know being able to pump out potentially three perplexes himself 
it's a solid team. And it's also, Thanos is a great fail safe. If, uh, if Vulture goes down, you still have a tank that can I, do something for you. I, I played that team against BZ on our BZ. episode, and he took me to the present <laughs> tier, and it was just a bad day for me. Well, see, BZ has practice against that team because that is a popular uh, team down here. Yeah, BZ uh, yeah, one, one of our clicksmen is the originator of that team, and he's been, or at least I believe he is. And I know he's been playing it for a while and doing really well. Um, and then Emily and actually has yeah, been working on a team that she lent me Mitch, for the last me. episode. Step which is Ultra Chase Thanos, Unseen, Groot, Flora. And that actually played yeah, that pretty well. I like that combination well. together. I like that as well. Oh, my man. I like the Ultra Chase. Oh, I, was, I think that someone playtested this against you. Maybe it was Pat, but I'm also really liking the uh, Ultra Chase Thanos, um, Trader, Unseen, uh, trading that Zero Ring, sort of like Barrier Tech. Yes, he played. I think yes, that's a strong played. team. He played double trader actually. Oh really? He wasn't using unseen. No, double trader, and he just traded the rings back and forth. See, back I was forth. thinking that having unseen with the uh, long range improved targeting barrier, and then being able to you know phase up behind it was something that could be really tricky, and because it basically gives you a barrier outpost far away, maybe where someone wasn't expecting you to be. Mm-hmm. I was really thinking uh, after playing that match with uh, with Pat that uh, people need to look into putting the uh, diamonic. I think is the ring that lets you see through stealth or see through hindering. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Um, I, I that sounds right. Um, putting one of those on the traders, of- having the barrier ring on one, on one. that on the other. And just like edging yourself edging up your and having up. that ring on a ring trader on to swap to Thanos at any time Thanos. so he can see through yeah, stealth and cause some stealth and cause some shit. Yeah, I mean, it gives you a chance to pop an unseen. Yep. Which. Yep. And helps them against that Unseen my matchup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, stealth improved targeting is always good. But that's also another reason why I like Gardeners. It's because it's all close attack. Yeah. Gardeners is so damn good. good. I love it. I'm a big fan of your team, actually. Fan of your team, actually. I might uh, put some practice into that for uh, upcoming events until we see what uh, what X-Men brings. It's just so much fun. Um, I don't think I've ever played a match where I didn't use two Space Gem traders. And just trading around the space gems and having everyone side it's just it's it's deceptively mobile it can it really catches people off off guard how it can get across the map and then back again there was actually like actually, one or two moments in our match where you were like yeah i'm just gonna trade the gem and then i'll move gem, here and i was I'll like oh. Was, oh okay like when unseen carried and dropped guard and to block them block I was uh-huh. I was thinking about my next round moves and I was next like, round. oh yeah, I can get a Cyclops to like up here, up here to shoot it unseen. To shoot but seen. because he had the space gem on him, he dropped Gardener to block it, and I was like, block ah. it. And the um, the Nightbringer also gives Gardener stealth, so as long as he keeps the uh, hindering under him and unseen, you can't really Cyclops them. Yeah. Sort of force you to take shots at traders. Yeah, I think when I was lining that up, I, I forgot that you had like, Nightbringer as well because you hadn't dropped your smoke yet. Your smoke. Oh yeah. But the the team definitely has a team ton of utility. A, I'll uh, definitely I'll, be looking uh, to see what you do with it at uh, at Worlds if that's the one you choose to go Sony. with. Thanks. Yeah, it's definitely one that uh, I'm leaning towards. But uh, I just want to say uh, just wanna thank say, you for being on. Thank you. On. It was hey man, an, thanks for having it me. It was an awesome match, awesome all things match. considered. I'm going to be burying Hulk in the deepest, darkest uh, corner of my toolbox corner for a while. Tool- for a while. <laughs> and I just want to say uh, wanna... thank you to everyone that's you to everyone. Uh, watching. And a uh, quick reminder yeah. that um, 
subscriber benefits through my channel I cha now yeah. run through my Patreon one more time. That more. is patreon.com forward slash snaggles gaming. Go sna check it out. No. Now, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll talk to everyone next time.